So Lauren says, my boyfriend taking forever to do any house project. How can I talk to him without he felt I am pushing or not appreciating him? Well, one of the things that you can do is you can do what I call framing. And so I talk a lot about framing in my Love Frames toolkit and some of the videos that we've done before. And basically framing is where you talk about things that you like, you talk about things that turn you on, you talk about things that make you feel womanly or appreciated, you talk about things that make you feel loved, right? And you do these in, not in a manipulative way where you're like, you know, I like a man who, you know, does all the housework when I tell him to do the housework, you know, but in a loving way and uh, especially in a way when he's done something, right? And you're like, oh man, it's so... It's so hot when you, like, when I, you know, you catch him, right? You're, he's, like, taking out the trash, and you're just, like, you're, like, oh, man, I feel so, like, uh, you know, it just, like, I know this is going to sound so weird to you, but it just, like, it's such a turn on seeing you, you know, do things like that for me and, and for us and for this household. Like, it's just, I don't know, there's something that I just love about it, and it's just so hot, you know, and, and you, you can talk about things in that way. Right. And if you frame things enough in those kinds of ways, it, it'll eventually either one, he'll start if you're not doing it in a manipulative way. Right. If you're not doing it in a way where you're like, you know, obviously coming in and the only time you ever appreciate him and, you know, tell him that you find him attractive and that you tell him, you know, uh, things that you like about what he is or what he's doing. If you're just doing it in times where it's clear and obvious that you're trying to manipulate him into doing things, he's, he's going to feel like you're manipulating him, right? But if you're doing it a lot and you're doing it all the time, right? And you're doing it in different senses, not all the time, but like, uh, enough where it's in, in various different situations where he's doing things and you're appreciating him you're appreciating him for being a man you're appreciating him for the things that he does you're you're telling him that you know things that he does turns you on or that you like it or it makes you feel loved or it makes you feel womanly and you're doing it in a variety of different situations that's a part of how you communicate with him then it can be a really powerful thing because you'll start kind of taking note of the different times when you say that, right? And he'll be like, oh yeah, you know, she like really liked that. I don't, you know, I don't know. I just know that she likes it when I do this or when I do that. And, and he'll start doing it more and more and more, you know, if, if you're doing that on top of the other things that we talk about in the program, if you're doing it and you're still being needy and you're doing all these things where you're kind of pushing him away, then he's not going to want to do it, right? Because he's going to be like, oh, it's going to start feeling like a chore to him and annoying to him that that you want him to do these things or that he has to do these things. But if, if you're leaning back and you're creating tr attraction and you're allowing the the flame to grow you know all the things that we talk about then what's going to happen is he's going to be attracted to that and he's going to want to do that and he's going to feel it's going to be his choice it's going to be coming from a place of him choosing to do these things for you because he wants you to feel great he wants you to appreciate him he wants you to love him more he wants to please you right and that's the space that he needs to be coming from when he's doing those things. Not maybe I just like went off on a rant there about all that, but that's how you do it is, is one, you do what we talk about in all this stuff that we've been talking about, not just in this video, but some of the other ones. And two, you use framing and you set up frames to talk about how attractive it is when he does that kind of stuff and how, uh, how much you appreciate it and how much it feels, it makes you feel like you're being taken care of and loved when he does things like that, right? It's it's a love language. It's a acts of service love language. And so you can talk about it in terms of that. 